are unable to obtain a person's weight, you can monitor changes and estimate their BMI by measuring their mid-upper arm circumference, referred to as mid-upper arm. Mid-upper arm does not correspond to a specific body weight, however changes can provide an indication if the person is gaining or losing weight. An increase of 5% in mid-upper arm is the same as a 5% increase in body weight. To determine a mid-upper arm, ask the person to bend their arm to a right angle. Always use the same arm for future measurements. If someone has an affected arm, for instance following a stroke, then use their non-affected side. Measure to the nearest half centimetre the distance from the bony protrusion of the shoulder and the point of the elbow. Mark the midpoint. For instance, if this measurement is 36 centimetres, you would need to mark the point at 18 centimetres. Then, ask the person to let their arm hang loose. Measure around the arm at the midpoint to the nearest millimetre, making sure that the tape measure is snug, but not too tight. Write this in the present weight column on the MUST nutritional screening tool. If a measurement of 23.5 centimetres or less is recorded, this would indicate that the person's body mass index, often called BMI, is likely to be less than 20, suggesting they may be underweight. Mid-upper arm circumference can also be used to monitor changes in body weight to determine if dietary interventions have been successful or not. If repeated mid-upper arm circumference measures are completed monthly, this can be used as an indication that the person's body weight is increasing or decreasing. For instance, if the mid-upper arm circumference has reduced, this suggests that weight loss has occurred. The Focus on Undernutrition Must Alternative Measurement Tape can be used to determine mid-upper arm circumference and is colour-coded to help determine if someone is likely to be at risk of undernutrition. When measuring a mid-upper arm circumference, if the measurement falls into the red area, this indicates that the person has a BMI of less than 20, and you may consider putting in place a moderate risk dietary care plan. To obtain the Focus on Undernutrition Must Alternative Measurement Tape, contact www.focusonundernutrition.co.uk